Kuchua, my me gamers, Jeremiah, the me boy here, and welcome back to Day Game Over 2 Goodbye Despair. Today, guys, we're gonna continue where we left off in the first class trial. Referring to the Hellhound Earring? Mm hmm. About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound Earring? Oh, come on, Gondo. About that Hellhound Earring. You dropped it beneath <laughs> the floorboards, right? Oh my god. Yes, he did. Oh, there it is. I have found it truly. This is the Hellhound Earring. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefits. I see, good for you. However, how do I recover it? I can let moms do the opening. Where do I use the tool if I will not reach either? A tool! Okay. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. Ooh, Gondam. It's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me. Yeah, yeah, we heard. See that? That earring is the one hanging from your right ear. Huh? Could it be? Hold on, Toto. Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. Now he got it. If he had it on by the time the class trial began. Then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So oh yes! Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different! With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern! Thank you so. This is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Oh, I don't know what to say about Man you. up and speak more clearly. Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. Huh? What do you find, Gondam? <gasps> One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. Why am I sleeping, though? A secret though? passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. Oh! After securing a lighter from the super. Why did I find that? I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! Dang, that's my boy! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes blabbing about power and crap! You're ridiculous! You're just a breeder, you know! Quiet down! It sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Oh and yeah. That has to be how the killer did it. Yes, Chikaki. Definitely. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. <gasps> Ooh. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. Yes, yes, yes. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there. Stab! 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 <laughs> oh boy, Bookie. You sure? Yes! You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... Oh god! <laughs> talking about your sound effects. <laughs> they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? Maybe? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Hmm. Whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Oh! <gasps> wasn't that oh. party again? Oh! Oh! I got an idea! I got an idea! I know! I know! Guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Yes! yes. This Monomi over here is your witness! Yay! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further. But... 
I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Wait, 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 you look suspicious. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... Look at everyone. It obviously has to be him. I know. I don't know who you're talking about. I'm not going to say it. Yay! It's decided! Way! It can't be! What the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? <laughs> don't mess with me! I'll kill you! Got them! See? You're making threats again! Yep, yep, that's right! Things are starting to get exciting! Shut up, Malcolm, I hate you. Good news, you are now allowed to use the silencer. You can use the silence by shutting the screen. Ultimately, use which is silence you should shut down the right noise. Also, you shut down the right noise, the timer will increase a little. Oh, but it's difficult to set the gun without almost will appear at all. In case you still will use your silence, but it's somewhere pointless. Well, if you feel like doing a little scrub scrub, you can use it to hide content. Scrub scrub scrub. Oh, wait, wait, don't say that. Tap the hammer, hammer, blah blah blah. blah. Well, then go and have fun. How is that going to look like for this now? She has his account, she so does account. I've got about. I don't know, I think it's her too. During the party, the killer. During the party. Was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. Looking. I stared at panties all day. Really? Without going to the storage room in the dark. Hmm. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! Maybe Shikaki's but accounts. When the party started. Nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. No the alibi. Is self -evident. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's. I I need to do guys. Now that means you have no alibi. I thought Shikaki's account. Shikaki, there you go. Oh no, my god. Not... Okay. I was about to get worried about that for a second. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um... Oh, you're right. Oh, Chiaki, you don't know better. Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Uh, uh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone at the place like this? I'm standing here and Marakuma doesn't come inside. Eh, hey, how dozen of you? I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. Don't call your cocky, it's dumbass. It's your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Ch shut up. Oh, for the old. There really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no. <laughs> is that even funny? He got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Yep. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone yep. definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. Yes. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. During the blackout? Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. Mm. So walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. Food? Right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness, and that room was much closer. Hmm. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It yes. was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. But if I can't stop thinking about it, I feel like this thing I overlooked. For clear sake, once again... Piers, we're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless? Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Hmm. What do you think, Nagato? Okay, make my argument. The case, fire door, kitchen, equipment list. Hmm, maybe it's the top one. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Yes. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish! Really? Is it really not possible? Hmm... What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe! Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? 
No. What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. Huh? What if they used a light? Use a light. Definitely sounds impossible. Hmm, I need to find something else. I need to find something else. What if they use the light? Maybe is that I agree with that. Oh, so apparently her gut was the truth speaking. Yes, yes. You know, the killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right? Yes, so Akane! I found a light! There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. <gasps> yes, 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 okay, okay. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoon, 5 shirts, 35 pans, 21 glass. They also are in place with a barbecue and even a purple stove for cooking hot spots. I am placed in the purple stove. I don't recall seeing them on the ship over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no point using it. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. Mm. See, I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Hmm? What do you call? What do you think, Alto? Oh, what kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. What are you thinking about? Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's kind really of a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. Kind of you were. Eating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Then, Hajime, will you battle against me? Yeah, sure. No, that's wrong. Oh, we are seriously okay. Will you be able to break through my argument? What are you thinking about? What does this mean? Battle? It sounds like he's enjoying the game or something. Damn it, there's no way I'm going to lose against someone like him. I love Nagato too, but we gotta do it. We boot to showdown, storage room, for the kitchen equipment. With I'm gonna do the equipment kitchen list. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? Mm -hmm. He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Mm, no, 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 no. I can't back down. What? Again? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Sorry, I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. No. What are you trying to say? What are you the trying reason to... Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway... Dark hallway, huh? Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Maybe? After all, he was walking... No! Out I missed it! Wouldn't Kazuichi... Fire door! Allow me to cut through those words! Fire door. Got it. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? I think she's forgetting. There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. Yes! If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. <gasps> Plus, yes. the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. Nope, they wouldn't. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh. You still don't remember your talent, do you? That's still true. Who cares about that right now? No. What are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. He definitely is. so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sound like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Don't do it, I love him. Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the black wow. already? Time runs out when I get bored. Yep, fine, but I not your get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer. Not an imposter like me. To show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? Nope. If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, 
I will accept it, no matter what it is. So, you tell him to call out the real killer? Either I don't really want to confront that person, but there's no way, uh, right? The person who is already fired has covered his youth's father's soul to move on to a dog. And it's not out of the floor, but to step back here to the death using the glowing paint as the mark. So, the only key I can think of is. It has to be you. <sighs> I know who. Tell, tell! You're the only one! Could it be you? Huh? What? What are you talking about? You are very suspicious! Terry's the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way! You sure? Course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak freely. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? Mm. You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. Ah, uh, Teru Teru. That attitude is so not like you. Nope, it's not. You're the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me Chef. Chef Boyardee. You fall to aspersions like this? will be there to support the future of the culinary arts the, the future of the culinary arts that's oh right boy. for the future of the culinary arts you must face this and fight it fair and square you, you're right yeah that's totally right mm -hmm. so what's an aspersion anyway is it yummy Oh, I you wish. Know asbestos is yummy too. You should try some later. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light, and that they used the fire door to mask that light, and that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? That's possible, actually. It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab Miyakuya? You're not going to say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining <gasps> liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! Definitely, Bookie! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? Mm. And in doing so... It might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. The victim's talking about mark? What was that mark? Probably the stuff that's shining near Bakia's body, right? Are you pointing to a knife again? I can prove it with this! It was a knife again, that's pretty weird. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark! I see. The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. Yes. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! S seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Hmm. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? What is it? You again? Just stop already! Uh, he's come down. Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. Hmm. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? <gasps> oh, hold oh, on, listen. Blair, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? 
This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? That's Tara's voice, especially. She heard... Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? <laughs> That's right! That's exactly it! Huh? Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I... I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there! Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, mm. it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. Definitely. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. Ew! So if you want, you should try licking me. No! No way! You look greasy! Definitely agree. But I heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! Mm. That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. No. no that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. He always is. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime. Show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, another argument. Bless on the table, got some football, night vision goggles. Gaps! It's definitely gaps! Let me ask you again. I'm listening, I'm listening. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different! Hmm... I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice! It's handsome! Unlike his face! <laughs> Maybe it was recording or something? Hmm... Nope! Definitely a live voice! A live right. voice? As long as I have her testimony! The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed! I was in the dining hall? Hmm, I think about this. The fact that I was in the dining hall. Shut up, fat ass! It wasn't I'll it. Through that contradiction. It was. It was the gaps in the flow boy thing. It can't be it. It, can't, it is that one. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor. It should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. <gasps> oh! But, 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 but... Stop it. I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Mm. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second! Can you explain this, Teru Teru? <gasps> talk! I told you to wait a second, ain't I? Hey, Boogie, talk! <laughs> If we can talk, I mean, anymore. we can't talk. I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Where are you from again? <laughs> oh, I was born in West Asabu and raised in South Aoyama. Hey, you guys. This guy's a major liar. Oh. If Teru Teru was in the dining hall, oh, it's a cocky. Don't get the press. He should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, mm. I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Mm. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. <laughs> yes. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! Maybe. His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there. And I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? <gasps> his memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? I probably 
probably can. Yes, he can. Oh, you again. Well, Tato could. Well, or not Tato was in the hall doing that in order to know for sure. I just need to know the question Tato himself. Oh god. With this, it was the ability pose, guys. I didn't show it. If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? Well, what? No! I'm sorry, Boogie! So I mean, I'm sorry, Mika, we have to use it! No, this is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um... Hmm. It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. No. Tell her. Um. um huh? Uh, huh? It, that's weird. It just slipped from my mind. Ugh. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. No. Uh, um. Even so, Nagito, say something. Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Wait. Give up. <gasps> Yes, tell me give up. Mean give up. Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. Even so, we still love at the end. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Mm. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, ho hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? Yes. Now, now, he's broken. The weapon hadn't been cleared up yet, Chef. What is this? Youth. I can't understand him anymore. Sorry. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? <laughs> it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Oh, fuck you. Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? It's <gasps> a knife, right? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Judging from Byakuya's wounds, it was a thin-edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? No, I know what it is. Not good enough at all. He said, "Not good enough. Not good enough at all." Google translating. Got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said, "Try to do it." <laughs> Using accent. Yeah, I can't. Anyway, we just focus on thinking about this. I think I told them about 50 meters and this feeling is length. I felt the soul was required with the same place the pole stove was. When the body was found, I was something only missing from there. Uh, so the weapon is... I forgot what's it called. Oh god, not this again! Here's the photo of the and the 50 things lawn. Damn, this take a while. I There's the I O N It's stove Eh? There's an E W E. Okay, there you go. School W E I. At least I lose. At least I don't lose hearts when I don't pick the right words. At least that counts. The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? You know what? It's the flat. Party. 
As Biagio was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Teru Teru. Yes, he did. I checked the coolant list, and there seems to be the iron scale missing. Ah, uh, that's why. As far as I know, it's been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, yes. Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah! Uh, oh! Oh! Alvin Levine! Alvin Levine? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? He definitely did. The school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island would been. sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty. And I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. No, he did. Which means he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. Somewhere. Probably the kitchen again, right? No. Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Yeah, do it. Oh, 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 oh! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Probably we need to the end. According to the shot, soul shield and simply not be listening to what I have to say. It's probably a pain because it's scattered, but clash out after all. Good to serve the soul shield! A high speed of a battle where we beat down a pack of opera skills and not salt. That's the bullet time bat sorry, the panic talk action. Badass all you mean. P panic T tuck A action. We started with the PTA. So in PTA, you must surely show all the turns show the shield so you can do the final strike. In order to do it, you must destroy the point. We must follow the top song. Tap you stop the tuck to market so you call screen. Keep the mark to tap the mark and tap the screen, and also we will be locked down the opponent in the mid-one. Press the tap button to left sub screen to turn the temple. And we lock down the mark and destroy it. But I'm sure we might be able to damage the soul park shield, but then open and destroy them. But if you can't destroy the remark within the time that you'll be able to gain hurt. Tap the button to hand book main to reach the show. Before the tap button, be watching locking the attack leg. As the other features, we're going over later. Do the closing as you start the combo. Keep the going and you have to tip up. On the flip side, if we keep missing, you'll find yourself to tip down situation. Where the sound changes, the temple changes, it's after the end of be careful. But last but not least, let's talk about the final blow. If you show all the Otoro Soul Shields, they'll be standing to give you photo garden. And if this happens, four words will be displayed on the top of the bottom left above the silver screen. If these four words will be assigned to them. Tell them the final words and the final strike. If you are going to search for the words, the trump will go to the final garden. Also, if you do not deliver the final strike within the time limit, your Otoro Soul Shields will discover. Well then, click and have fun. Oh. What the hell you even say, you stupid cutter, hick? He said, um... Oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hick? I guess... We have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. If the school was open, the only intention was still to stick by it. But Bucky was trying to catch to do it before the party started, which means it was the open was only catching someone that couldn't find it? Ooh... Could have been the unexpected place? Where could it be? Would you hide on the weapon like an iron scud? Garbage can maybe? At the time, all these bucket and I have a search, it's probably that place. I'm not hiding a ding! He said, I'm not hiding anything! I'm not hiding a ding! I'm not hiding anything! I must be able to tell the cousin of Ben to prove that he's the killer. Oh boy, here we go! Just like the last game! Gotta be careful, I gotta be careful in time. Why is there shields around him? Shut up! Shut up! Oh, he's being a pervert! Look at his face, guys! I don't know what I'm... There you go. Where would the weapon be? The bone on meat. What? So meat on the... No, 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 I'm gonna say this. Oh, come on. I said the opposite. Where would the it's weapon meat be? on the bone. This is the end. There you go. It was opposite I just said earlier. It's not bone on the meat, it's meat on the bone. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? Okay, calm down. You say it. There's no way I'd hide anything in a place like that. That's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Biaki and I thought. That's why we overlooked it. Overlook that. Oh, <gasps> I've seen there's no danger to have in the school and the, uh, inside the pile of food. 
That appears to be the case. P, I thought I know that I said the fish and bone and meat bone were also dangerous items. <gasps> no way! In fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Ah, <laughs> the meat. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. Yes! What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. The kind of does. We need to confirm this now. Yes, yes, we do. We eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside. Bullseye! All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing! We're gonna watch her eat? Wait, uh, hold on a second. Time out, time out! No time outs! What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over! Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? That's Lei! Fuck him! I'm right here! Monokuma, where are you? He's already eating! <laughs> I'm already eating it! Whoa! <laughs> Wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. <laughs> oh, Bookie! Oh, what is this? So yummy! Wait a minute! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! I have! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild! In the wild, huh? This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! Look what came out! <gasps> Isn't that... Is that... an iron skewer? Yes! Check it out! The handle looks like it's made of bone. Play clever! Sword of destruction! Encased in bone and sheathed in meat! It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya! As expected of Teru Teru! Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. You yeah, definitely would. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Maybe. Nagito, I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? <laughs> yeah, it's tough. He said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth, fast food eating hicks. Hey! You don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Let's just deal with the Natalia. More probably, we should fuss. I guess we need to settle this. Once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Yes, Chekaki, go over the entire incident. And then I can prove Ted to his crime. That's why right, if I can do that, we can end this no matter how much the time passes. So, so we need to do it. So the final crisis, my job is chesting. Every case has the last picture between Clash Child and this is the closing argument. In place, you'll be giving a complete summary of the case. You have to produce the order to evidence the case in the form of the common book. To produce the ability of high major and strategy, so there will be a gap here and there. Gaps and errors with number of places are missing, except to keep the common book using the trailer pack improvised. Around 3 or 4 tooth pack make up one set. And inside the one set, there is a model cover print place on the equipment. If you set up the correct pair, your equipment is one set, they will switch to the next set. Now you can fill in the hole and it will clear the chance in. I'm pretty sure some of you already know this, but it will be difficult to create it with so many gaps, but once you fill this out, it will become more simple. For those of you who played the previous game, yeah, you might use this at first, but this is the same concept. Not them, you can take solo and control the that was a certain trip. If you chill the gas page, you turn here into the top of the screen. The top of the test is the scene that draws to the gap. Also, if you hold to the truth pair without moving to display the hint as well, the hint explains the scene cut in the panel. Put together two hints and think carefully. Of course, don't forget that it'll be a time limit. Well then, go and have fun. Begin. I will do this in the next episode if that's me. I see. Shit. Cock goes first. Iron. Meat. And then use that. Stock 2. Why is it like this though? It's pretty weird. 
That's there. Trying to press it down. Yes, there you go. Daniel? Yep. Stove. Last stock. Here we go. Back here, use, use goggles. Tail two, grab that. And then he got the knife. If I could place it in, there you go, come on. There you go. Here's everything that happened in this case. Can I skip this part though? Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. <sighs> That's next episode. And never mind, I have to do this first. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. Mm hmm. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. The Shigaki being the guide. Ah, oh, she looks cute though! Oh my god! Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. Definitely. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Dun, dun. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. Yes. Catching click, snap. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for these. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Yep. Oh, he still eats, he just, he still eats. <laughs> Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Yakia was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. Nagato! He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right, everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. Afoy. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. Mm. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. Oh, God. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. Oh, the meat. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Ooh. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. How did I burn though? That's right. A tablecloth to block the blood splatter. Oh, that was <laughs> Assassin's Creed! With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps. So there's no way they could have safely held a light source. Nope. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Oof. Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. Yes. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed, but... He had to retrieve that knife, and at that moment... He got stabbed by Thale. The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. Here you go. 
Follow the squiddy. After they murder Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. <laughs> that sucks to be you! Who would have been able to commit this crime? Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Inside food? And we know who done it! Teru Teru. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? Feel kind of bad for this guy. We're done now! That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? <sighs> I'm done with life. That's okay, that's for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as I put if you enjoyed this video, if you're new to this channel, subscribe today for my content like right here. Also, if you have any questions, leave comes below. Of course, you enjoy. I, of course, see you in the next one. Bye!